Welcome to Ask the Techies, the show where we answer your viewer questions on camera with full video explanation. I wanted to point out to you, you can find our whole collection of videos on askthetechies.com. Uh, if you're watching our show on YouTube, something like that, you uh, may not be seeing all of our content because YouTube limits us to 10 minutes and sometimes some topics are a little more complex than that. So feel free to add our show or you can subscribe via iTunes or with the Miro player and that way you'll automatically get new episodes as soon as they're available first thing before they even go up on YouTube, okay? Um, speaking of recent videos, one of the new ones we had just recently was on Firefox 3. We gave a review of that and a whole bunch of you emailed us in and pointed out I had a complaint about the Firefox back button being too big and a whole bunch of you pointed out that there was a way to do it. Well, what happens is, let me show you the, the button I'm talking about. It's right up here in Firefox. It's big, you know, it's not the same size as the one on the right, which just seems kind of annoying because most of the time when I back on a previous page, it's easier for me just to hit the backspace button on the keyboard than it is to go this other route. So, there is a way to fix it though. And as they pointed out, if you right click, and I knew about this, if you right click, you can, um, on the toolbar, on a little space, you can find customize. And what you do is you get down here, and there's a little place down here for you, small, you can choose icons, icons and text. You can also think, use a thing called small icons. Now, I thought that would just make everything a lot smaller. The only thing it really does seem to do is shrink this down to where it's more manageable of size. So thanks for pointing that out, those of you that did. If you discover other new features, let us know. We'll try to pass that on. You can also make comments on our uh, site. Uh, if you go to askthetechies.com, you'll see on there, let me click done, a place down here where you can always add your comments for any episode. You'll always see a place down there and you can just click on that and you do have to have a Gmail uh, account. They're free. If you, if you don't have one, you ought to get one because a lot of cool features you ought to check out including Google Docs, uh, a lot of the search features, uh, email, unlimited really uh, storage space so you can just save all kinds of emails. You always need an extra email account just to send one for spam if nothing else. But anyway, uh, hopefully that you find that helpful. Had another viewer email us in, uh, contact me um, from the UK, this was Michael. Uh, he was the only one that pointed this out, that in Safari they're actually actually is an ad block and that was one of the pluses I liked about uh, Firefox is that it does have an ad block program. So does Opera, but Safari doesn't have anything like that. And he pointed out that actually in the newest version of Safari, if you're running Leopard, there is a program, um, go over to it, called Safari Ad Block. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Safari ad block and basically you know it gives you an example here of what the page looks like there's before and there's after where it knocks out a bunch of these ads and I hate those blinky flashy annoying little ads that are doing little dances while I'm trying to read the content of something um, one minus to it though is that it it only runs doo -doo 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 on Mac OS 10.5 or better so it's a leopard only feature in spite of the fact that it's Safari but it's a plug-in uh, into Safari that you can block ads so it looks like we're heading in the right direction so that may be a reason enough to uh, want to upgrade to Leopard if you're really a big Safari fan. Um, but Safari's coming along. It's coming along a lo uh, good ways. Firefox is as well. They just came out with Release Candidate 2. And pretty soon this summer we should have the final version of this and uh, should be rather speedy. So do check it out. You're not out anything. You didn't pay for it. Okay. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Speaking of, sip out of this. Um, web stuff I wanted to point out to you. This is the big topic for the day I wanted to talk about real quick. Is a thing called Verve Earth. And Verve Earth is basically uses a thing like Google Maps and it helps you, it's like a geographical representation of bloggers out there in the world. So if you want to look at an area and see where a blogger is from, or if you want to see what bloggers are in what city, that might be kind of interesting to see what kind of topics. It gives you a nice little thing here. Let me zoom in. You have a choice to look at all to look at all blogs, or you can just go art, books, family, internet, life, movies, different types of blogs, and just see what's out there. And then what you get is you get a nice little map showing you of where things are located. Um, and then you can basically zoom in. You can use your scroll wheel, uh, or you can use their little bar here to zoom in. But if I was to go over here, like say to uh, this area, I can zoom way in. Woo! Where are we here? St. Louis. Okay, and there's Monterey. And you can move across. And so there's all kinds of stuff. There's Phoenix. So you can zoom in and there's a lot more in that area. Sometimes you'll see a big bar like this. Now in that case, there's only one in that area. But often in other bigger areas, you do see bars. Well, let me show you, for example. If I come up here, there's a location or topic that you can go to. You can actually type in something like London. And it's going to automatically take you to London, England. And I can say, show me all. 
We click in this little all button, and let me zoom out a little bit. Woo! There we go. So there's some of the ones. There's Oxford, and let me zoom out. We're just not seeing all of London because I was way too zoomed in. Sorry about that. But down here's London. Let me zoom in. Then we can see. So we got John here. Let's see. John's. A, I'm a legal academic commenting on the strange roles of law, legal profession, and globalization. You know, you can zoom in and see where they're located. So that's kind of neat to see uh, what people are blogging about in your area, what they're up to. And of course, if you're interested in Ask the Techies or a specific podcast or blog, you can actually look just to see, hmm, where are those people? Where are those Ask the Techies guys? Are they in San Francisco, Redmond, Washington, something like that? No, not quite. And boom, there it is. You see it right there on the map. You can rest over it and you get a little, uh, a little uh, window on it there. And you get a little information. You can click on the website or you can actually click on it. And it will actually pull up basically the blog. And you can kind of scroll through and see what posts have been done in the blog. In my case, there's actually links to videos as well. Um, you can click on it and it's going to take you to our site. There we go. You can see the video. You can see what comments have been made on that post. You can also click there to actually begin watching the actual video file. So that's really kind of cool. There we go, another Techies episode. So it's a way for you to learn more. So it's part of this just whole geographical thing to learn who's in your area, who's blogging, who's into this, and what topics and where people are scattered about. Um, might be helpful if you're looking at relocating for a job in some new place. That might be kind of a neat thing to kind of see what people are blogging about in that area. It might communicate a lot about the technological uh, savviness of the people in that area, as well as what's really cool and hip and artsy in that area. All right, hope you have found that fun. You find a cool thing on the web, something really neat that you think other people would really like, be sure to share with us. Uh, you can send it to us at questions at askthetechies.com. For Ask the Techies, I'm Dealey Beard.